Notre Dame preview 2018 college football. Look, Chris, how do you feel about Notre Dame? I've never had a problem with them. I'm not a Brian Kelly fan. You know that. I know. I know. I, I like the team. I don't like Brian Kelly <laughs> at all. Last year, 2017, they went 9-3. and three. In 2018, the over-under is 9, and the juice at my bookie is minus 120. They are favored to go over 9. Brian Kelly is 69-34 and 34 in eight years. Uh, he's always on the hot seat, it feels like, and I don't know if that's just the pressure of the job. Like if that, is that the name of the game? I mean, it could be, but I also think that he brings a lot of that on himself. I think if you're a better dude, people can put up with you. I think if you're going to be a jerk, you got to win. Hey, you're probably right. Uh, they lose defensive coordinator Mike Elko. He is at Texas A&M. How do you feel about Mike Elko? Uh, he was a good coordinator. I mean, he greatly improved their defense from last year to, to the year before. Big time. Clark Lee takes over. Uh, they've got nine starters back on defense, which is awesome. Yep. They held ten opponents to 20 points or less last year. They got only five starters back on offense. Look, they lost running back Josh Adams. He had over 1,400 yards rushing last year. Uh, they lost him to the NFL early. They lost top 10 NFL draft picks Quentin Nelson and Mike McGlinchey uh, from the offensive, offensive line. line. man. Both top 10 picks. Yeah. Like, that's that's a big deal. Um, quarterback Brandon Wimbush is back. But, look, his completion percentage last year was under 50%. That's not normal for a Brian Kelly offense. They they do return uh, Chip Long, you know, former Memphis guy. He is the offensive coordinator, so they return him. He might be able to find something to do. Um, you got to wonder though, does sophomore quarterback uh, Ian Book take over after his two fourth quarter touchdowns against LSU in the Citrus Bowl? Like he he could throw the ball. Yeah, he he showed up and he made some plays. I mean, that, that's another quarterback competition that nobody is really talking about. Like, Wimbush, is, it, it's almost the same thing, right? Like, Ian Book is not the, the star power that Tua Tonga Vailoa is. No. But, like, Brandon Wimbush and Jalen Hurts, kind of the same dude. Ian Book, Tua, kind of the same whatever. Like, one can throw, one can't. But one is, like, a leader and one maybe isn't. But might be, like, who knows? So, it, it, like, a lot of this season for Notre Dame is going to come down to Ian Book or Brandon Wimbush. And if Wimbush wins the team, like, he's got to be able to throw the football some because we don't know anything about this offensive line. Uh, I think junior wide receiver Miles Boykin is going to be awesome. He's the guy that caught the touchdown pass against LSU last year. Uh, he is coming in. He wasn't a starter last year, but he did play, obviously. Uh, you got to wonder if the running backs can stay healthy. Look, they got uh, Dexter Williams and Tony Jones Jr. They are both guys that, that had injuries last year that always have nagging injuries, it feels like. Last year, I mean, with Josh Adams, they had a dude that was just a workhorse. Yeah, the offensive line was really good. Here's the thing. If the offensive line is going to take a step down, having a guy that can throw the football that might be young and inexperienced probably isn't the best thing in the world. Having a mobile quarterback that can't throw as well could be safer and better. Yeah. He's not going to turn the ball over nearly as much. He's going to take some pressure off that offensive line. He'll help open up run lanes for the other running backs if they're not as talented. Um, I have no idea what they're going to do at quarterback. I trust this defense. I, I don't know anything about the defensive coordinator coming in as much as the talent that's there in returning. They got um, some good talent on defense. I, this is the team – I look at this schedule and I think if this team went seven and five, it would not shock me. It would be a huge disappointment. If they go ten and two, it would not shock me and be disappointed. I think there's a pretty wide margin. I know it's only three games, but in college football, three games is a lot. I think they have a pretty wide range of outcome that could happen as opposed to most teams. Did you know that this team is like the number four team? from ESPN's FPI, most likely to make it to the college football playoff? Yeah. Like, I look at this schedule, and I'm going, there is no yeah, I just way. Don't, I don't know. Like, I don't understand what some of these metrics say. But, I, like, look, we'll go through the schedule. Like, I've got, I've got them losing against Michigan. I got them beating Ball State. I got them beating Vanderbilt. I got them winning at Wake Forest, although that was an iffy one. That's, that's not an easy W. You no. just throw up there. 
And so then after you play at Wake Forest, you come home and you play Stanford. Stanford. Correct. But as soon as you get done with Stanford, I've got them losing. Got, I've got them go beating on, Stanford, you by go the on way. the road to Va Tech. You go to Virginia Tech. Blacksburg. i got them losing that because that's a body blow game. Listen, if they're in Blacksburg and they've got one loss and, and Vanderbilt's got one loss. That's you probably, mean Virginia Tech? Uh, Virginia Tech's got one loss. Sorry. I'm looking at Vanderbilt's schedule. Then, then that's that's probably going to be the – Game, game day. The, yeah, game day, night game of the Chris week. Chris Felica, the Bear, like, our yeah, boys are going like, to be in like town. That game. Could Vi you imagine Tech, how hyped Virginia Tech Vi is going to be? Tech is not losing that game. If, no. If that's the, the night game, the ABC game, or I guess NBC. Well, we, we thought game. that last year with Clemson coming to town. Yeah, but You and Clemson, I both took Virginia you're, Tech. You're correct on that. Notre Dame you, is not Clemson. You are now comparing Clemson to Notre Dame. That's not okay. I'm, I'm with you. I'm not comparing. As much I'm just as I saying like to that we push thought, down Dabo, I'm, Dabo is way better than Brian Kelly. I'm just saying we thought just that last careful. year. Okay. So either way, I've got them losing at Virginia Tech because that is a body blow game. It is tough to get up for Stanford and then go to Virginia Tech the very those next are, week. Those are two physical teams that are going to be tough. Yes. Uh, I've got them beating Pittsburgh at home. Naturally, they got a bye week before Navy, so you got a bye week to get ready for the triple option. I got them winning the Navy game. But would it surprise you if they go on the road and lose the Navy game? Well, it's not on the road. Well, it's the no, and it's the okay. It's the New York game, right? It's the no, one no. They, they play Stadium? Syracuse in Yankee Stadium. Oh, I thought the I thought the Navy game was in Yankee. Nope, nope, okay. nope. Syracuse is uh, is in the Bronx. Um, so yeah, they play Navy. Uh, they play at Northwestern. I got them beating Northwestern. Although it would not shock me if Pat Fitzgerald and those that, guys look. That's that's the thing. It's I look at Northwestern a lot of these has games. not lost to Notre Dame in twenty three years. Do you realize that? Come on now. No, I had a, I, I had I a guy. I agree. I had a guy on YouTube only tell me that like twice. They they played. They beat them seventeen to fifteen in nineteen ninety five, and then they beat them like forty three to forty in nine or in two thousand fourteen. Yeah. And they haven't played any other time since then. So, But I, I could see them coming in. This is revenge for Notre Dame. The Irish are going into Chicago. Then they, into, then they, then they play Florida <laughs> State. Like, and, and, but they, that's what I'm saying, that you go to Northwestern, and then, by God, you got to come home and play Florida State. Like, i got them losing to Florida State. i got them beating Syracuse in the Bronx. That's the Yankee Stadium. Okay, that's you know. the Yankee Stadium game. And then I've got them losing at USC, but I could see them beating USC. That's like, fun. I don't know what they're going to be. This team could be 10-2, and two, or they could be 6-6, six and six, and it really wouldn't shock me either way. Either way, it would not surprise me. But, and so that's I kind of hope so, they're more 6-6, six and six, and then maybe Brian Kelly gets fired. And then I can go back to rooting for the Irish. I got them at 8-4. and four. I got them going under. You're, you're like right in that middle. Like, I'm right in the middle. That's a Vegas zone right yeah. there. Like, but I, I, don't know. I don't understand how, how your juice on 9 could be minus 120. And this is at mybookie.ag, by the way. Use the promo code WCE50 if you like them under or over. Either one, WCE50, that promo code, will get you 50% deposit bonus. So you put in $100, bucks, they are going to give you $50 free dollars, and nothing's better than the free money. Notre Dame 8-4. Here's, <laughs> here's the reason the juice is so high. Right. Because they're Notre Dame. Because they have a obscenely large fan base. God, there's a dinosaur over here. Just <laughs> we, on me. For anybody that doesn't know, we have a uh, a Great Dane here that stays in the studio with us. If you don't believe in dinosaurs. And she is normally quiet. She's about, on her hind legs, she's about, uh, what, 6'5"? She's, yeah, she's, she's, she's on up there. She's a taller than me. Yeah, she's she's on up there. But either way. to be 6 foot. Uh, um, it wouldn't surprise you if they go 6-6 six and six or if they go 10-2. and two. Would it surprise you if they go 12-0 and oh and get to the college football playoff? Yeah, oh no, yeah, they're not going to. They're not beating Virginia Tech. That's all right. So that's the one game that, that you is, were calling. Well, no, two. They're not beating Michigan. Their their ceiling is ten and two. They host Michigan. I don't in care. the first game. I do not care. We don't have any idea what Shea Patterson's going to look like. With, I don't need it. Any. I don't need it. I know Brian Kelly and I know Jim Harbaugh. I know enough to know about these teams to know that Brian Kelly is not beating Jim Harbaugh, and he is not beating Justin Fuente. Like, I got him losing to Michigan, too, but, like, it, that's just that's – just It wouldn't surprise – it's a – look, the line right now is a point and a half. That's, that's okay. That's all right. That's because, <laughs> that's because Catholics the world over are going to always bet on Notre Dame no matter what the situation. So, what what do you have them? I, I got them – I wrote down 10 and 2, and I think I, – I mean, the safe play is 9 and 3 or 8 and 4. That – like, if you told me – What's the over under? Nine. Over under is nine, and the and the juice is minus one twenty. That means I would I would probably I'd probably just if I had to make a bet I'd I'd bet the under. I'd bet the <laughs> under. I'd go I'd go two games different than what I wrote on my paper. I would go the under and I would just 
just take the because I'm getting I think better. The under is like I'm, plus yeah plus one ten oh five. It could be plus anything. It doesn't matter. It's still free money. You're getting free odds. And I think the chances of them going eight and four are the exact same as the chances of them going ten and two, which are the exact same as the chances of them going six and six. Yeah, you're probably right. You probably. I will tell you, we this. are going to get a lot of Notre Dame hate on That's, this. But I like, don't. I mean, here's the thing: get a better coach, man. Brian Kelly is going to be. <laughs> Brian Kelly is this going dude to be. Went sixty nine and thirty four in eight years. Like that's, that's pretty good. We're not going to talk about the schedule that they played half of those games. They literally <laughs> have played seasons where where they are favored to win every game. Okay. They, I think they're going to be seasons. well. Aside from Michigan, they're they're going to be they're probably going to be favored to win in every all game. of these. So if you're favored to win every game, then you don't get to say, "Look how my record is." You're supposed to win all those games. Anyway, that's are they going to? We're, we're going to do this real quick because this is the only segment that we're talking about Notre Dame. It's not okay. going to go too long. Michigan, who's better coach, Brian Kelly, Jim Harbaugh? We're just talking coach. We're not even talking stars, athletes, nothing. He going to get out coached in the Michigan game? I mean, I'd yeah, I'd probably have to and go. And that's with coming Harbaugh. from a guy that craps yeah. on Harbaugh all the time. I don't crap it's, on Harbaugh. Forget, I got him going eleven and one this for, year. Forget about Damn. the talent. <laughs> forget about the talent. Wake Forest. Brian Kelly a better coach than him? Than Dave Clawson? The answer is no. Yeah, I mean it's it's if close. You, if you gave Clawson Notre Dame's players and you put Brian Kelly in Wake Forest, who wins that game? A hundred out of a hundred times. I don't know about a hundred out of a hundred times. Okay, ten out of ten. <laughs> I think I think Dave Clawson still wins that game over again. <laughs> Hang on, you you know that I'm you know you know that I'm not a fan. I don't think Brian Stanford. Kelly. I think that Brian Kelly is a bad dude. I I don't think he's a bad football. I coach. I don't think he's a terrible football coach. He ain't a great one, and that, and and they're gonna play some really good coaches. Yeah, I'm, I, Justin Fuente gonna. I, gonna he, look, he's I gonna think Fuente will coach. He's gonna be on roller skates. David Shaw, you know I like David I know, Shaw, and I'm not a Shaw fan. Shaw's gonna out coach him. Shaw's smarter than him. Navy game, he's gonna get out. Hey, coached. try try and say, try and say. I'm his not. Name. I'm not doing that. Come I'm on, not, man. No, I'm not doing that. Ken, uh, look, I'll even do it first. Ken Neo Matalola. Ken Ken Neo Matalola. I can oh, say you that. Got it. All right. I, I can I can repeat anything. Um, I can't read a Willie, teleprompter, but I can repeat anything. Willie Taggart. You think he's a better coach than Willie Taggart? I think you're not a big is. Willie Taggart guy. No, huh? it's not that I'm not a big Willie Taggart. I think Willie Taggart's got to. He's got to change that roster. Okay. I, I think he's got to change that roster. Pat Fitzgerald. Pat Fitzgerald. Yeah, Pat Fitzgerald's forget, a good coach. Forget the talent. We're just yeah. talking coach a lot. Pat Fitzgerald's light years better coach than him. Now I think he's probably got the rest of them. But that's what about like, Clay Helton at USC? I, he's not what, a bad what we, coach. What do we make of Clay Helton? I don't know what to make of Clay Helton. That's my problem. I'm not going to judge my him, issue. But I don't know the answer. I know this. There's there's five or six of these games. He's going to get now. They've got so much better talent than. There's yeah. at least five games where he's going to get out coached, point blank, start to finish. They're already starting out seven nothing behind just because of coaching. Now, now you, they might be fourteen over because of talent, but at some point in time, somebody's going to have to make a hard decision, and he's going to make a wrong one. Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. It, for me, losing Mike Elko, defensive coordinator, losing those offensive line stars, losing Josh Adams. I think it's just going to be too much to overcome. I don't like Brandon Wimbush that much, but we'll see what happens. I mean, you never know with these things. Uh, I got him eight and four. Chris, you got him what ten and two? Oh, man, I wrote ten and two down. If over hundred's nine, bet the under. Bet the under. Bet the under if you get positive odds. If it's even money, just stay away. All right. If you haven't already, go on and subscribe to the podcast. iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, SoundCloud, Google Podcasts, all your favorite podcast apps. I personally like Podcast Addict, but that's me. I'm on an Android. I do like this new Google Podcast that you hadn't messed with it because you got an iPhone, but. Either way, Google Podcast is pretty cool. Um, so go check that thing out. Subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash winningcureseverything. Um, go to the website, winningcureseverything.com. All that wonderful stuff. We'll see you guys the next go-round. <laughs>